them one by one. Havana Club. This is Banner Boy at his sold out show at the 20,700 capacity Madison Square Garden Arena in New York, the world's busiest arena. You are probably wondering how he got here. Well, let's take it back to late 2019, early 2020. In late 2019, his highly critically acclaimed fourth studio album, African Giant, had been nominated for a Grammy under the Best World Music Album category. Having released African Giant in July 2019, Every African that has a dream and has hope for, for his people and himself is African Giant. I'm still on my way to where I'm going. And I'm stomping, I'm stomping my whole, the whole way through like a giant. <laughs> he had spent the better part of 2019 touring. His African Giant and African Giant Returns Tour was the biggest and most successful tour by an African artist at that time. Having toured North America, Europe, sometimes doing two to three dates per venue in these two continents, and in late 2019, had just started the African leg of the tour. In late 2019, he did shows in Tanzania, Kenya, Cameroon, Ghana, and Nigeria, and in early 2020, did a show in Cote d'Ivoire, and was supposed to have shows in Zimbabwe, Sierra Leone, Namibia, Mauritius, and Mozambique in the first half of 2020, before the pandemic struck. No one saw that coming. In January 2020, he lost the Grammy for Best World Music Album to one of his role models, mentor and collaborator, Angelique Kijo, who during her acceptance speech acknowledged him. Oh my God. Four years ago on this stage, I was telling you that uh, the new generations of artists coming from Africa are going to take you by storm. And the time has come. This is for Bona Boy. Bona Boy is among those young artists that come from Africa that, that is changing the way our continent is perceived and the way the Af African music has been the bedrock of every music. One month later, after the Grammy loss, through his socials, he announced the Twice As Tall tour with dates starting on May 7, 2020 to August 30, 2020. On March 31, 2020, during a question and answer session with his fans on Twitter, a fan posed, Bannerboy, how did it feel losing the Grammy? To which Bannerboy replied, Sick, totally sick. But my musical mother, Angelique Kijo, told me everything I needed to understand about the Grammys. So now I'm twice as tall. That's the name of my next album, by the way, dropping in July by the grace of the Most High. If you are a fan of Banner Boy, you know this is just like him. He clearly didn't take the Grammy loss as a defeat. Announcing the Twice As Tall tour one month after the Grammy loss shows that immediately after the loss, he talked to Angelique Kijo and started planning to come back standing twice as tall. With the pandemic having put the world to a stop with no movement happening across and between countries, this meant that the Twice As Tall tour was automatically cancelled. Bannerboy was left with no choice, just like the rest of us, to stay indoors, and during that time, he recorded the Twice As Tall album. He recorded the Twice As Tall album via Zoom. The album dropped on August 14th, 2020. Are you celebrating making a classic? Exactly. Twice As Tall, the name was basically inspired by my journey through the last year. The message I have given is that we're all the same, despite our differences. 
if we all feel like we're twice as tall, then we have no choice but to be twice as tall against oppression, against everything we face right now as a people. 2020 passed without any major events and happenings except for the End SARS campaign in October, which Banaboy lended his voice to. With lockdowns being enforced all over the world, Banaboy had a virtual performance at the O2 Brixton Academy on November 18, 2020 in London, where the concert was streamed live via Melody Virtual. He also had a live performance in Haiti on December 21, 2020, and to close the year, he received his second Grammy nomination for his Twice As Tall album under the newly renamed Best Global Music Album. 2021 started on the right note, with the world beginning to open up, and with the vaccine for the coronavirus having been discovered, it meant that things will go back to normal. On March 14, 2021, just like he had promised to come back standing twice as tall, he did it by becoming the first Nigerian artist to ever win a Grammy with his own project. His album, Twice as Tall, had won the Grammy for Best Global Music Album. I tell you, as I am narrating this, I want to scream, remembering that night, watching him achieving one of his longest dreams. Meant a lot, not just for him, but for his fans and for the rest of the young African artists. And the Grammy goes to. Ah, oh, come on, twice as tall, Burna Boy, Omo Niger. generation of Africans all over the world and this should be a lesson to every African out there no matter where you are no matter what you plan to do you can achieve it no matter where you're from because you are a king look at me now Grammy award-winning burner boy thank you to everyone my whole family is here Namix Namix don't get it no you know understand no job about one because get it no Okay, let's leave it at that as this video is not about the Grammys but about his Space Drift and Love Damini tours. Space Drift or the hashtag did not appear on any of his socials until May 25th, 2021, when he announced his show at the 20,000 capacity O2 Arena in London. On his Instagram announcement, he ended the post with the hashtag Space Drift. The O2 Arena show was slated for August 27th, 2021, Note that the O2 Arena was going to be the second arena he performs at in the UK after he sold out and performed at the 12,000 capacity SSE Arena Wembley in 2019, becoming the first African artist to perform in and sell out the arena. The same day he made the O2 show announcement, he posted a short clip on his socials announcing the Space Drift Arena tour for London, Los Angeles, Paris and Amsterdam, each with their slated dates. He announced this arena tour very silently. He didn't make a big deal out of it. At that time, no one knew what arenas this were and what was their capacity. You would think that because he was going to be the first Nigerian artist and for most the first African artist to have shows in these arenas, most of them in non-English speaking countries, he would at least make the announcement of these shows loud. At that time, the only arena Nigerian artist had had shows in was the 20,000 capacity O2 Arena in London. 
but now Banner Boy was going to have a show in the 17,500 capacity Hollywood Bowl in Los Angeles, the 20,300 capacity Aqua Arena in Paris, and the 17,000 capacity Ziggo Dome in Amsterdam. All major arenas in these cities, two of which in non-English speaking countries. August 27, 2021 came and Banner Boy became the third Nigerian artist to sell out the 20,000 capacity O2 arena in London after Wizkid and Davido. Even though he was not setting a record for being the first Nigerian artist to have a sold-out show at the O2 Arena, in classic Banner Boy style, he made sure his performance was one for the record books. Making his entrance to the concert riding on a spaceship, a real spaceship, Banner Boy has always been one to make grand entrances into his concerts, so this was not a surprise. But the fact that he came in an actual spaceship, that was mind-blowing. Houston eagerly awaited report on unidentified flying objects. He went ahead and gave a two-hour performance aided by his amazing band, The Outsiders, his band, The Outsiders, accompany him to all his shows anywhere in the world. They are a big part of his live performances. Without The Outsiders band, there is no Banner Boy show. Banner Boy's performance at the O2 Arena has been termed as the best O2 show by an African artist so far. <laughs> Next up, on October 8, 2021, him and his band were in Los Angeles at the Hollywood Bowl, which is described as one of the 10 best live music venues in America by Rolling Stone. It's the day of Burner Boy's big performance at the Hollywood Bowl in California. This is the first time he and his team get to do a run-through on the stage. Besides Burner Boy's usual band, The Outsiders, he's also using a choir and an orchestra for the show. Yo, this is where this is That's always how I always wanted my band. I wanted, I always wanted it to be big with the whole orchestra and the uh, uh, choir and all that. But, you know, I couldn't really afford it at first. <laughs> but now I can't, so now you see it. Performing a set of 1 hour 45 minutes to a sold out 17,500 capacity venue, Banner Boy became the first and only African artist to have a show, and not only a show, a sold out show at the Hollywood Bowl. <laughs> You should note that among his entourage you will always find his manager who is also his mother Bose Ogulu and his younger sister Ronami who is also his stylist and the creative director for his shows. Both established career women in their own right. Banner Boy and his Outsiders band were then off to Europe, starting with the 8,300 capacity Hovet Arena in Stockholm, Sweden, for another sold-out show on November 6, 2021, becoming the first African artist to have a sold-out show at the arena. <laughs> Four 
four days later, on November 10, 2021, Banaboy made history at the 20,300 capacity Arco Arena, which is one of the world's biggest concert and sports venue in Paris completely selling out the arena, becoming the first and only Nigerian artist to do so and perform at the arena. Him and the Outsiders Band delivered a spectacular 2-hour, 20-minute performance with Banner Boy emerging from a pit made inside the arena for his entrance. <laughs> Paris had so much love for Banner Boy, they couldn't get enough of him. Banner Boy had to announce a second date for Ako Arena. The second date was slated for 17th December 2021. If you send me the location, then I'll be right there. So make I come check you, my baby. No, no. My dog is on probation. Another five years. Let's bring girls to what's looking. Jump, jump. Make I was down, but I'm headed to the top right now. And I can pull a couple grand on my pocket right now. Yeah, I'm so fly, yeah, I'm fly, then I rock it right now. And all the games you may never stop right now. Next, he went up to Germany where he sold out the 16,000 capacity Barclays Arena on 27th November 2021. The Barclays Arena is Northern Germany's biggest multifunctional arena. He is the only African and Nigerian artist to sell out and have a show at the arena. To the emergence of the Omicron variant of the coronavirus, his second show at the 20,300 capacity Aco Arena in Paris, his shows at the 17,000 capacity Ziggo Dome in Amsterdam and the 9,500 capacity Geneva Arena in Switzerland were postponed to 2022. The Space Drift Arena European Tour was in full gear but in between all these shows he was headlining and performing at festivals in Europe and America. As 2021 was winding up on December 10th, Banner Boy made a surprise announcement that the world's busiest arena, Madison Square Garden, would like him to perform at the arena. And for him to be the first Nigerian artist to headline at the 20,700 capacity arena in New York. A date for the Madison Square Garden show was set for April 28, 2022.
As part of the Space Drift Tour, he still got to play for his fans back home in Nigeria in December 2021 with sold-out shows in Abuja and Lagos. In February 2022, he had a show in Dakar, Senegal, and then he was back on the European tour. In what is now known as the Banner Boy Weekender, he had back-to-back -back shows in one weekend, starting with the 13,000 Capacity 3 Arena in Dublin, Ireland on 17th March 2022. <laughs> Then on 18th March 2022, he had his show at the 9,500 capacity Geneva Arena in Switzerland. <laughs> And closing the weekend on 20th March 2022, he headlined the Coco Festival at the 21,000 capacity AO Arena in Manchester. <laughs> All these shows were sold out and Banner Boy is still the first and only African artist to sell out and have shows at these arenas. Immediately after the weekend, the next day on March 21st, 2022, he had his second show at the 20,300 capacity Ako Arena in Paris on a Monday. For this show, he took things a notch higher by making an entrance to the arena riding on a Formula One race car branded Space Drift. <sighs> He went on to give a two-hour, 20-minute performance accompanied by his band. The second date at the Ako Arena was also completely sold out, with 8,000 people on the waiting list for another show. Banner Boy is still the first and only Nigerian artist to sell out the 20,300 capacity Ako Arena in Paris, France, twice. He sold out the arena twice in five months. Everybody, everybody say. With nine arenas down, the Space Drift Arena Tour had reached Fever Pitch. Banner Boy and the Outsiders Band went up to Netherlands where they had back-to-back -back shows first at the 16,500 capacity Rotterdam Ahoy Arena 
on 12th April 2022. Fuck a mama do the most. Yeah, yeah. I see them multiplying. Brother them, lights, lights. So tell me what am I to do yeah. when everybody hate on you? So how am I supposed to feel? When niggas tryna scheme on me, niggas never been real to me. These niggas just make believe. Last night I had a dream. Somebody gave me. And on 14th April 2022, at the 17,000 capacity Zigo Dome. For both these shows, he made an entrance to the arenas in his now signature Formula One Space Drift branded race cars and delivered thrilling performances. <laughs> It is important to note that he sold out the Zigodom Arena in four minutes. He became the first and only African artist to sell out both arenas, and he was given a sold out plaque for his Zigodom Arena show. You might be wondering how he was able to sell out arenas in Sweden, Germany, France, Netherlands, Switzerland and Ireland. Well, like he sang on his African giant song, anything that is better requires planning and God will not give you more than you can handle. In 2019, Banaboy did shows in these countries but in smaller venues, sometimes doing two or three nights at the same venue. He built this from the ground up. With his African giant album being well received, he toured not only small venues in the US but also in Europe as part of his African Giant and African Giant Returns Tour. Hell, he also toured Finland, Turkey, Belgium, Italy, Denmark and Austria. Too many countries for me to mention. For example, in France, during the African Giant Tour, Banaboy did two sold-out show at the 3000 capacity Olympia Hall in Paris, two sold-out shows in Lyon at the 3500 capacity Radiant Bellevue, and a sold-out show at the 3500 capacity Doc de Sud's in Marseille. He did the same in Netherlands, having two sold-out shows in one venue and did it in other select countries in Europe. It is important to note that it was not the first time having shows in the US and in some of these European countries as he had already did shows in even smaller venues in these countries during his outside tour in 2018. Leave alone having shows in smaller venues in France and Netherlands, his African giant album holds the record for the longest charting African album of all time. Spending 90 weeks on France official albums chart that is close to two years and it is still on Netherlands official albums chart for its 125th week at the time of this recording that is close to three years. It has also been ranked in both countries as one of the best albums ever released. African Giant is also the only African album to get certified in France and Netherlands, gold in France, two times platinum in Netherlands. So here is a combination of both, having a good album and touring to build your audience. Banaboy put in the work consistently by doing small venues in these countries. He didn't just wake up one day and say, I want to have a show at the 20,300 capacity Ako Arena in Paris or the 17,000 Zigo Dome in Netherlands just because his African giant album was doing well in those countries. 
he had already built a steady foundation. This takes me back to his interview with GQ in 2020, where he said, Unlike a lot of other people, I have had to go through never-ending steps to get here, whereas other people have taken the elevator up. I have always been too heavy for that kind of elevator, so I had to take the stairs. Now I know every floor and everything on every floor. You have to start small to be able to eventually reap the big rewards. I mean, he was in France so many times that in an Instagram post in February 2020 announcing his Marseille show, he captioned, I need to level up on my French now. He loved France and France loved him back. Netherlands was epic and that was the end of the Space Drift European tour. With 11 arenas sold out in Europe and the US in a space of seven months, he had made history as the first Nigerian and for most the first African artist to sell out and perform in these arenas. April 28, 2022 came and everything he had done, all the shows he had done in the US, everything made sense. It all boiled down to this, a sold out show at the world's busiest arena, the 20,700 Madison Square Garden in New York City. No shortcuts. I did. <laughs> I've done pretty much every venue there is to do <laughs> in America. Do you understand? Like, I don't think there's any venue you go to and you wouldn't see my name somewhere. Do you understand? That's any venue that matters. <laughs> do you understand? And, you know, from small, from the smallest to the biggest. So it's almost like when you plant something and you water it and you know the sun you already know it's gonna grow and you're gonna get the fruits and stuff you understand so for me it's it's just been that and you know i'm glad to see that everybody's now following the saying that that's the right way to go and now doing the same thing i love the process you understand for me it's like the more the more the process requires the the more stories i have to tell you know so it's all a blessing at the end of the day. The show started with a prologue video of Banner Boy captaining the show to the Madison Square Garden. Then, the only supporting act of the night, Senegalese legendary singer Yusundo, opened up with a rendition of his song, New Africa. Right after, Banner Boy and the Outsiders Band stepped on stage and churned out hits after hits from Banner Boy's discography for two uninterrupted hours. However, midway through the performance, Banner Boy announced that his sixth studio album, Love, Damini, will be out on his birthday, that is 2nd July 2022. With his one night in space show at the Madison Square Garden, Variety noted that the Afrobeats Jenna had reached a new peak. Banner Boy made history becoming the first and only Nigerian artist to sell out the arena. And he was given a sold out plaque. <laughs> One month later, on May 18th, 2022, he announced the Love Damini tour on his socials, the tour to start on 17th July until 31st July 2022 in the U.S., plus two dates in Canada on August 2nd and 4th, 2022. Having sold out the 17,500 capacity Hollywood Bowl and the 20,700 capacity Madison Square Garden, Banner Boy was ready to have shows in other arenas in the U.S. And this is what he did with the Love Damini Tour. From 17th July 2022, he did seven back-to-back -back shows in the U.S. starting with the 6,000 capacity Aretha Franklin Amphitheater in Detroit. The 8,000 and 400 capacity the Amory in Minneapolis, the 16,000 capacity Huntington Pavilion in Chicago, Illinois, the 19,300 capacity Toyota Center Arena, 
home of the basketball team Houston Rockets in Houston, Texas, 8,000 capacity the pavilion at Toyota Music Factory in Dallas, Texas, 5,000 capacity Leader Bank Pavilion in Boston, Massachusetts, and finally on July 31st, 2022, the 21,000 capacity State Farm Arena, the home of the basketball team Atlanta Hawks in Atlanta, Georgia. Concluding in Canada at the 5,000 capacity Edmonton Convention Center in Edmonton and the 9,300 capacity PNE Amphitheater in Vancouver on 2nd and 4th August 2022. All these shows were sold out and Banner Boy is the first and only African artist to have an arena tour in North America and Europe. <laughs> He sold out these arenas single-handedly and I must mention as a side note at very high ticket prices. His ticket prices were costly that he was ranked at number 286 on Polestar's 2021 year-end top 300 concert grosses for his O2 arena show. His O2 arena show grossed $1,347,333. He was the only African artist on a list that comprised of artists like Harry Styles, Bruno Mars, and the Rolling Stones. Remember, he did only one night at the O2 Arena. Polestar is a trade publication for concert and live music industry. I will not talk about what his other arena shows grossed, because that will be another whole video. All Banner Boy shows are followed by rave reviews from concert goers. After each show, Twitter will be filled with tweets from those who attended showering praises on the African giant. Live performance is one of Banner Boy's strength and this is something he prides himself in from way back, like he said in a tweet from 2014. In the tweet he said... I probably am the best performer my generation has produced, even if I do say so myself. Thank you for giving me the chance to be that. In an interview in 2016, he talks about live performances being his biggest strength. Yeah, man. Most definitely. I mean, people don't understand that like, live performances is actually like my biggest strength. But people don't realize that and I love the fact that they don't realize that until they see it because it just gives me more of a chance to blow your mind. Banner Boy is living his dream, touring and performing in all these venues while at the same time elevating African music, taking it around the world and pushing it to the mainstream. He is doing all this while staying true to himself and letting the world catch up. I mean, he is singing in Yoruba and Pidgin English and familiar languages in most parts of the world and people actually understand him. He has been on the road with his Outsiders band nonstop since 2016 when the band was formed except for the pandemic year. Opening doors and paving the way for other young African artists coming right behind him. Opening the doors to these stages and arenas and showing that it is possible. As an outsider and for many other Banner Boy fans, we are not only proud of him and his journey, but also inspired. Outsiders is also the name of his fan base. For you to know how serious he takes the art of performing, in his interview with Billboard, he said, It's like I am better at performing than making music. And that says a lot because I am really good at making music. You see how with Christ there is BC and AD. I feel like that's how it is for me with performing. There is going to be a before Banner came and after Banner's death time period in the performing arts world. That's my legacy. 
After selling out the 20,700 capacity Madison Square Garden Arena in New York, Bannerboy became the first and only African artist to headline shows at four of the world's top five busiest arenas. That is the 20,000 capacity O2 Arena in London, the 20,300 capacity Arco Arena in Paris, the 17,000 capacity Zigo Dome in Amsterdam, and the 20,700 capacity Madison Square Garden Arena in New York. Bannerboy keeps raising the bar high. He has had the most successful and biggest African tours since his African Giant and African Giant Returns tour in 2019. When you think he is done, he unlocks another level like he did with the Space Drift Arena tour in 2021. The Love Damini tour just started and the North American leg of the tour ended, but it is shaping up to become the biggest African tour ever. With dates for the full European leg of the tour yet to be announced and Bannerboy hinting at having shows in stadiums in France and Netherlands. He has also mentioned he is going to have a show at the 90,000 capacity Wembley Stadium in the UK in 2023. Also, dates for the African leg of the tour are yet to be announced and he confirmed that he is planning to do an Asia tour which will make him the first African artist to do so. In this video, I have mentioned each time that Bannerboy is the first African artist or the first Nigerian artist to sell out these arenas and Bannerboy has expressed his displeasure with being mentioned as the first one to do it but with each of these shows he is changing the narrative about African artists. Now the first Nigerian artist to ever sell out Madison Square Garden <laughs> and to play it as well. Well you know one thing you know one thing I always wondered like yeah why why how come when it's me, they always point out the the fact that I'm the first to do it, like like the first <laughs> that landed on the moon. <laughs> <laughs> you you got, you... It's like why why when rock bands perform in in Tokyo and stuff, they don't say the first American rock band to perform in Tokyo. I think because they they're surprised. There is an element of surprise, you know. But why? Because we've come a long way. Do you know how far Madison Square Garden is from Africa? Yeah, but like, do you know how far away Tokyo is for the for kids yeah, and? But, but you see, that's the thing. If you think about it, culture has for such a long time been defined by America, and so it makes sense in right, a way for right. people to go like, of course the music's going to go there, of course so the comedians are going to go there. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> but now think about it. Things are f like to, to move to... on. <laughs> <laughs> but, but think about it. Performing is an integral part of Bannerboy's music career and with every venue he performs at, he creates a possibility for other African artists to get to perform there one day. All I ever wanted to be is what I am today, an icon, a symbol, a giant, carving a path for my people. Because a dream is only as powerful as the places it is able to take us to and the people we share it with. Havana has woven its way into culture with the soft touch from Cuba. I weave this fabric of my culture from Eco to London to the world. Havana Club, love, Damini. I count my blessings and I tell you like say I'm back. I have no friend just cause I'm real I can't pretend. Holding back, not evidence. One day I'll be your president. Don't be surprised when you see me on tour. Acting like I don't know you no more. Hate me now, but when I blow up, then you'll be toxic and don't know before. Oh, but guide me when I sleep, cause they wish. Pick them one by one. 